Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit. I hope you are good and doing well. So today I'm going to discuss about Summer 24 new feature for Lightning Web Component in Salesforce. That is navigate to a URL addressable in Lightning Web Component. That is lightning underscore underscore URL addressable target. So you will be learn this feature in this video. If you want to learn this new feature, so don't skip any part of this video. Also, you can like share comments subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my site so let's get started without any further delay so first of all you have to open your vs code if you are using like code builder also fine but uh, right now i'm using vs code and uh, some pre-release or that is summer 24 let me open my vs code i have opened my vs code so here you can see this vs code I want to create two components. One component can handle the URL addressable target and another component can consume that component. Right. So how we can see that? So first of all, you have to create two components. So first of all, let me create my first component. You can create LWC like uh, SFDX, create Lightning Web Component and give the component name. Let me create one Lightning Web Component that is, let's say, demo component for example purpose. Right. So it's creating the lightning web component here. Once you created this component, now inside this component, we have to import the wire API adapter, right? Once you've done it, now you have to do one thing here. First of all, let me use current page reference. So we can give here, that is import statement. And here we can save this here also. This is the current page reference. We can use this current page reference here. Lightning navigation current page reference, right? You can import it and you can create it. So after that here, current page reference, and we can rename this one that is current, like current page, right? Ref, for example, purpose, right? So this is the simple one, right? So this is the wire property you can use anywhere as you want. After that, you have to do one thing here. After that, you have to create, let's say, API decorator. And this is a property value. Let's say property value. And this is not initialize anything value here. And after that, you can get this uh, get property value, like property value. And after that, return this, this dot current page reference ref dot state dot c underscore underscore and then property value you can give anything as you want from here but for now i am giving this word after that once you've done it now you can close it let me try to save this let me try to save this one and once you save this now our component successfully deployed here you can see successfully deployed if you see somewhere like a property value is duplicate, you can change it. Otherwise, leave it as it. This is the, some warning. Okay, don't worry. So this is the JS file. So first of all, you have to create your JS file like that. After that, you can create, you know, HTML for this one or anything as you have. For First of all, we have to create the XML. Just you have to modify it. So let me open the this demo component XML. So this is the XML file. Under this demo component XML, you can make it like expose is true and the target. You can use anything as you want here, but first of all, you have to use very most important that is here target. And under this target here, we have to use new target that URL URL addressable. So this one. So you have to use this URL addressable. So now your XML JS file is ready. Now let me open the, you know, HTML file. Control P, demo component HTML. Under this HTML, let me add something here. Let's say card. Under this card, let's say my component, for example, purpose. Let me remove unwanted xml from here let me add the heading here like one heading 
let's say this is my component for example right let me save this once you save this now you can deploy your component like that and once you deploy this component now you have to create another component because i want to use this component that one okay so let me create another component and let me create new component control c p if you are using window create lightning web component that is navigation navigation to lwc something like that okay like that so now you can create your component like that and once you create this component now you have to do one thing first of all you have to use like navigation mixing so here like uh, mixing if you try I like import navigation mixing so now you can see the import right after that you can change this right extend navigation mixing and then lightning component so you can wrap this one like this and inside this one because this is of course a step after that you can use any method as you want okay so here you can see i have this navigate to lwc and navigation mixing and navigation mixing navigate method under this one we have like type attributes and you have to pass like attribute attribute component name and uh, we can pass our component name and state as well so now under the attribute we have to change that is component name right so we have to use a component component name colon and then our component name so in my case my component is c underscore underscore demo component so based on your name space you can add like underscore underscore see this is the default one if you are using name space you can use your name space as well here right after that you can use like state so now under here in this state we can use like c property value right so in this case i am using that is 5000 something like that so you can use anything as you want but uh, for now i'm using this one and no need to worry about this import state like that let me save this and once you save this now we have to test this one so before that we have to create the html for this component or just control p search this file we can open html like that and also xml so you have to open these three files and in this file make it like uh, true this one and target we can use anywhere as you want let's say the code page app page home page right under the html we have to type like let's say card any card as we have okay under this card now like close this demo one this is the component navigate to lwc remove this one and here we have to create the button uh, that is navigate to lwc so let me open this js file we have this method navigate to lwc so we can call here like navigate to lwc let me save this and once you save this now we can use this component inside the salesforce so how we can see open any record phase of the object in my case i'm using like account so i can use account open a new tab under this account we can drag and drop that particular you know component so let me open this record click on this gear icon edit this page and once you open this lightning app builder page you can just drag and drop your component from left to in this area so now my component name is navigate to lwc right so just drag and drop anywhere as you want let's say this one now let me save this and once you save this just go back here and now you will be see our component inside our record page like navigate to lwc so i made some mistake that is a standard web page it's not a web page we have like a standard component so we have to use this one let me save this and once you save this now you can try this one so let me refresh this record and once you refresh it now you can just click on this navigate to lwc and now immediately you can see this is a url you can see lightning slash cmp slash c underscore underscore demo component question mark c underscore underscore property equal to 500 and this is another component 
so previously it was a problem like uh, if you want to navigate uh, to the lwc so we have to use like aura or any kind of application as we have but in this release no need worry about like or any other things so you can directly use this new comp new target inside your component and you can leverage this feature i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments also you can subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates also please support me guys so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys